Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you guys 100 plus with uh, Chickum playing some ground war domination on the map Meltdown. In this gameplay, I was using the uh, barbecue chicken with fast mags and silencer, and uh, I was pretty much using my generic setup. You can see the perks and the kill streaks, and I got my C4 and my Cap 40, the usual setup. Definitely gonna change it up soon because uh, this is the last gun that I got for my 100 plus with every SMG, so I'm gonna be using the assault rifles soon. But I don't really like the assault rifles too much in this game, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try and get it with uh, 100 plus with every single assault rifle, but I uh, I can't promise you that I'm going to be able to get them with all of them. But anyways, I was using the chicken, like I said, or I like to call it the barbecue chicken, just because it's uh, it has those like it's like the C B Q or something like that at the end, and it sounds like chicken when you say chicken, whatever. <laughs> kind of stupid but I like it uh, I was using silencer and fast mags I don't really like this weapon too much because uh, it's not very powerful and it it's a burst weapon it's a burst fire SMG which is kind of weird I've never played with one before I don't think there's ever been one of those in Call of Duty before so I don't really like it too much because it doesn't have very high damage but uh, also in this gameplay the host was horrendous we we're on a three bar all game and a lot of times we we're dropping a one bars or other people were dropping a one bars it was pretty crazy the host was horrible and uh, as you guys probably know three uh, burst weapons are very bad on bad connections just because the hit detection is very bad and you need a good hit detection for uh, burst fire weapons to be pretty good so I was uh, I was surprised that I actually got the 100 plus with this chicken because uh, the host was bad and I was getting a lot of hit markers with it because uh, it's not very that not very good. I don't like it too much. But anyways, uh, my final score was 106 and six. And uh, also, I was playing with a couple of buds. I was playing with Beyond Endless. You guys might know him. My nut is link is uh, YouTube channel will be in the description below. I was playing with him, and he got at the very end. He got 98 kills. I forget. He probably died like four times. So he was two kills away from the 100 plus as well. We would have had the dual 100 plus. That would have been pretty sweet for two people to get 100 plus in the same game. It would have been, a, would have been pretty crazy. He uh, he couldn't find anyone at the very end, so he failed on. It. I think he got killed by a swarm like one time off of his V or something like that. He uh, he died off his kill streak by a swarm. I don't know about you guys, but I hate that so much. I always get killed off my kill streak by um, my own swarm because I'll go into the enemy spawn. And then I'll just get killed by my own swarm, and it'll get me off my kill streak, and it's so annoying. But anyways, we would have gotten a duel 100 plus, which would have been pretty crazy, and it would have been pretty sweet for uh, you guys, for me to show you it. But anyways, nevertheless, it is pretty sweet gameplay uh, on Meltdown. We didn't really have any certain strategy. What I don't like in this game is the fact that you can triple cap so easily and the spawns flip so easily. Like I liked in MW3, you could hold down two flags and have the enemy have one flag, and you could just hold them down in that one area. It'd be really easy to win in domination. You can get a lot of kills. But in this game, everyone always flips the spawns with triple caps because... A lot of times when you call on your VSAT, your random teammates will just have this idea that they will obviously they'll know where everyone is because they're on the minimap, but they'll try and triple cap because they know where the enemies are, so they'll uh, be more confident in trying to capture the flag without dying. But when they don't have a uh, VSAT up, then they won't really know where the enemies are because they all suck, so uh, they won't try and capture the flag. But I definitely think VSAT helps in triple capping just because everyone knows where the enemies are. And once you triple cap, they'll probably flip to the other side of the map. The enemies will capture another flag, but it'll be a lot harder for the enemy to capture a flag when the V uh, with the VSAT dogs and swarm up. So a lot of the games in this game end really soon, which I don't like. And a lot of the times the f um, the spawns flip randomly and they're spawning everywhere, which I don't like. That's not really what I like about this game, but I can deal with it. I'll probably get used to it a lot more as the time goes on. But anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much it uh, for I have for you guys. Uh, the final score is once again 106 and 6 with a chicken. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video and the gameplay. And the comments here, let me know if you have any suggestions in the comment section below. Uh, once again, I'm going to be using the assault rifles next, and I'll, I'll be ch changing up my class a bit so you guys will get uh, you get some more variety. I know you guys could use that because a lot of the same YouTubers use the same stuff. So we'll see. Uh, I'll definitely try and change things up a bit, and if you guys did enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you liked it, 
and uh, maybe left a comment. That'd be pretty cool. And if you aren't already subscribed, I definitely recommend subscribing for more great gameplays like these. And I am signing out. Peace.